Hello. Welcome to Entertain Me. Um, the other day I did a reaction to Bill Burr um, about domestic violence of some sort. Oh, I didn't find very funny. Um, I noticed on my comments page that the two guys is on the word about my reaction to it. And sorry about if I'm not loud enough with the mic and um, work with this thing. It's my son's ex mic. You know, I've got a better mic, but um, exact, that's what I'm working with. So it might be not loud enough, and perhaps because I'm a quiet person, I ain't got a deep booming voice. Might not be long enough, but back to what we were acting to tonight. I thought I should give Bill Burr another go. Or say I didn't like I didn't like his uh, comedy the other night. It could have been the subject matter that I didn't like. So I'm gonna give him another go. This one's called Plastic Surgery and Notion. You people know this are the same. Um might have been the same show with a different clip so we're going to give it a go give Bill another chance to try and make me laugh and let's have a look see if we can so this is Bill Burt on plastic surgery and lotion too I gotta admit the only thing that freaks me out about Los Angeles is is, uh, is all the plastic surgery. I don't get it. Why do people get plastic surgery? You know? Why can't you just admit it's over? <laughs> you know? You had your time. Stop trying to look fuckable in your 50s. <laughs> it's weird. People with their faces yanked back. Looking all shiny, right? <laughs> Not to mention they haven't even figured it out. You know? Why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? <laughs> right? That's what you want to look like? I must say, totally agree with this plastic surgery. Let's get out of hand. You know, they're walking around like ducks at the moment with these women with these big fat lips. What is the point? What are they going to look? They know what they look like. Like you just lost a fight three days ago? Don't be a hero. Let somebody else go in there. Take the fucking beach. You, you lay back. Wait it out. They're just lying to people. I oh, know, it looks great, it looks great. Put a little ice on it, we'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? We followed every step. Did we miss something? Oh, hey, 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 oh, here's your keys, here's your keys. There you go, there you go. Almost didn't recognize you. You look so young. All right, take it easy. She gone? Huh? She's gone? All right, shred everything. Shred it. <laughs> no, you're nuts. You wait it out. Let them figure it out. Then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero, you know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. Saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their hairline. Like, is that, is that sewn in? I see pine tar. They used to put you in like a headlock. Hold still. Use like a nail gun. Hold still. Guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. You wish you got hair plugs 10 years ago. Do you wish you got polio 60 years ago? What else is on your wish list, sir? No, you don't fuck with your face, okay? I understand liposuction, they screw that up, you can put on a shirt, right? There's no shirt for your face. Who do they think they're fooling with their stupid, you know? And then you lie to yourself, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do this, just gonna, just gonna, just gonna have this done. No, you're not, you're not. What are you, you're just gonna wax the fender on your car, then that's it, and the rest of it looks all shitty? Well, maybe I'll just do the hood, and maybe I'll do the back. That's how it happens. Then you look like one of those real housewives, like 
face all twisted up. It's fucking idiots. Anyway, look, they are, they're idiots. Do they look like I'm in my 20s? No, you look weird. You look fucking weird. You still look like you're in your 50s. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age between 52 and 53. Yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52 and looking 52. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. What would you rather be, 52 and look 52 or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? I, that's your options at this point. <laughs> you know what's really, really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. You notice that? I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? Because their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. I jamming all nine. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! It's understandable with them. <laughs> hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> what is this lotion you speak of and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I don't think we do. I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. There's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. I couldn't figure it out. I always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. Yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Right? <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? 
Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. He just had one white friend in his entourage. Dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so see, there you go. All right? You don't need a facelift. Okay? Lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize. You're going to be fine. Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day, it's ridiculous. They all got a giant oil drum with a shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off and walk out the door absolutely glistening, glistening. White guys like me are walking around, no hat on, hey, let's go sailing. <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. <laughs> That was much better. I enjoyed that um, much better than the first time I reacted to Bill. Um, this made me smile. It made me chuckle. It didn't have me in stitches. Um, but yes, this is much better. I like this. One. It could have been the subject matter of the problem last time out. Maybe been I was in tired, sad mood. Didn't really find it funny. This one. I did find it a bit funny, a bit amusing, great, perhaps I'll do some more of this stuff in the future. Um, I will recommend to any American, go and check out Mickey Flanagan, Peter Kay, Frankie Ball, you might enjoy that, because I still think Mickey is a lot funnier than Bill. But I'll say that for Bill. It made me smile this time. That's a plus. Thank you.